the end, Taylor and Travis prenup drama unfolds, putting questions marks on future mariage plan. A world of celebrity drama, prenups, blunders, and royal feuds. The world of celebrity gossip is a whirlwind of romance, scandals, and unexpected twists. This week, we're diving deep into the latest drama surrounding some of the biggest names in entertainment, from the complexities of Taylor Swift's prenuptial agreement to the controversy surrounding Katy Perry's music video shoot. Taylor Swift and NFL star Travis Kelsey's relationship is reportedly heating up, but their engagement plans have hit a snag, a prenuptial agreement. While the couple is reportedly head over heels for each other, they're both determined to protect their substantial fortunes before taking the plunge. Swift, worth over a billion dollars, and Kelsey, with his impressive $70 million fortune, are reportedly locked in negotiations over the details of a prenup that's proving more complex than any NFL contract. Despite their commitment to a future together, they're not budging on getting the legal paperwork sorted before Kelsey pops the question. Insiders reveal that the couple has already discussed their future plans, but the financial aspects have caused significant delays. With their busy schedules, finding time to iron out the fine print has been a challenge. Last December, Kelsey reportedly sought the blessing of Taylor's father, Scott Swift, before proposing. Mr. Swift was reportedly enthusiastic about the union, but the engagement is now caught in a legal quagmire. Fans are eagerly awaiting news of their official engagement, but for now, Swift and Kelsey seem to be stuck in a financial tug of war, trying to protect their assets while planning their happily ever after. Despite the prenup drama, Taylor and Travis are proving that true love knows no boundaries, even when oceans and time zones try to get in the way. While Taylor is dazzling crowds in London during her era's tour, Travis is deep in pre-season training with the Chiefs. Despite being worlds apart, the couple has found creative ways to keep their romance alive. Travis is reportedly going above and beyond to support Taylor, even from afar. He's rearranging his entire schedule to match hers, waking up early after grueling training sessions to connect with Taylor after her concerts. Before the preseason began, Travis was a fixture at Taylor's Era's Tour concerts, flying out to Europe to cheer her on. Now, back in the States, he's traded in the party scene for cozy Zoom date nights, where they share dinner, catch up on their days, and even watch movies together. Travis's friends say this level of commitment is totally out of character, but love changes people, right? As they count down the days until they can be together again in person, it's clear that Taylor and Travis are willing to go the extra mile or cross the ocean to keep their love burning bright. Katy Perry might be facing some serious heat, not just from the summer sun, but from Spanish authorities as well. Her latest music video for the song Lifetimes, which showcases the stunning beauty of Spain's Bic Islands, has sparked a controversy that could land her in hot water. The video features Perry frolicking on the dunes of the CES Saline Natural Park, a highly protected natural enclave. The problem? The production team behind the video apparently didn't bother to get the necessary permits before filming on these ecologically sensitive dunes. Local media quickly reported the faux pas, pointing out that the scenes were shot on Les Palmadors, a private islet known for its ecological value and usually off-limits to the public. The area is even cordoned off with sticks and ropes to keep it pristine, but apparently, that wasn't enough to deter Perry's crew from getting the perfect shot. The regional government has launched a preliminary investigation into the matter. Insiders say that while filming in such a location could have been allowed with proper authorization, the fact that it wasn't could spell trouble for Perry and her team. The production company has yet to comment, and Perry herself has remained mum on the issue likely hoping the controversy blows over before her new album, 143, drops on September 20th. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's so-called Royal Tour of Columbia has the royal family seeing red. Despite stepping back from their official duties, the Sussexes are off to South America, and insiders say this latest venture has left senior royals fuming with anger. The couple's upcoming four-day tour, where they'll attend a cultural festival in Bogota and chat with locals, is viewed as nothing more than a desperate attempt to cling to the spotlight. While Harry and Meghan might be hoping to rekindle their dwindling star power, the royal family sees it as an audacious breach of the unofficial deal they struck when the couple left the royal fold back in 2020. Harry and Meghan are being accused of exploiting their former royal status to grab attention. 
Sources close to the palace reveal that Prince William is livid, wanting to publicly distance the monarchy from this fake royal tour. However, King Charles has insisted on maintaining a stoic silence to avoid fueling the drama. The hypocrisy of Harry's decision to take Meghan to Colombia, a country known for its security risks, while refusing to bring his family to Britain for his uncle's funeral, has not gone unnoticed. The Sussex's jaunt has ruffled more than a few feathers in the palace, with whispers of impotent fury echoing through royal corridors. Insiders suggest that this Colombian adventure is just another sign that Harry and Meghan are struggling to stay 